What's up everyone, Drew here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use two printers in one event, printing multiple different templates. This is a game changer now because let's just say you have a customer that likes the strips and maybe they also want the four by six, right? Six by four, however you wanna put it. You can now, with a new update from LumaBooth and LumaBooth Assistant, have two printers going on for one event with one iPad. So really quick, let me flip the camera around just to show you the setup, right? Like what we got going on here. We have a, a DNP RX1 and then we have the Hi-T P525L. This is just, uh, we're using this one as the secondary, this one as the first printer. And how we have everything hooked up, just in case you're wondering, I have the MacBook plugged into the printer. Let me just show you really quick, right? Um, both printers, right? Boom. Both of them are hooked up to this one MacBook. And again, you can do this with a PC as well, as well as long as it's Windows, but those are the connections. Then we have the hub going into here. Then we have the iPad cable. So the data is getting sent through the iPad. You could do this wirelessly too, it'll be the same. So to, in order to get this done, you need the newest version of Luma Booth Assistant, because if you see it here, it looks a little bit different than it normally does. You have one that says main printer, secondary printer. So that needs to be updated and Luma Booth on your iPad needs to be updated. So really quick under main printer, right? And you can use the same printer, right? If it's like two of the same brands, you can use it. Like if it's a high TP525, you can have two or you can mix and match. So let me just backtrack. So I'm gonna first set show you guys how we set up the first one, main printer. We make sure it's selected. This is the one we wanna use. And then we have the correct paper size here, right? six by four split because with the high T that's how you do the cut. So save, then you want to go on to where it says secondary printer, click on that. And then just make sure you have the second printer selected here. Right. And that's what we do. And then this one, we're going six by four. We're going to hit save. And then now on Luma booth, I'm going to screen record on the iPad just to show you guys exactly how we're going to get this done. Okay. So we're going to hit the drop down menu top, right? We're gonna go down to print layout. And again, this is the new feature that you can add multiple templates. So for the first one, we need to make sure we have the two by six strip. So we're gonna go down to preset. This is my favorite way of doing this. And then you're gonna select the two by six. We're gonna press on the, uh, the fourth photo. We're gonna hit delete. Now we're gonna hit the X. We're gonna to go to where it says image, choose file, because this is where we have our template saved, where it says choose file. And I'm just gonna select this one here. Um, send backward three times. And I'm not gonna make these perfect. I'm just gonna do this really quick, just, to, just for the sake of the demo, right? Okay, whatever. It's not gonna be perfect, but I just, this, this, is, the, this is the process here, okay. So um, hit X, we're not done. You always have to make sure when you're doing the strips that you have the print two per page selected. And now I think they changed it to where you hit setting. So if you didn't see that, I did it really quick. Let me go back. It's setting that little gear button bottom right, then print two per page. And then where it says print to secondary printer, leave that unchecked because that's what we're gonna be doing for the next template that we're gonna be adding because it's gonna go to the second printer. So we're gonna hit X. Now we're gonna go to where it says layouts. Bottom left right there. Um, now we're gonna go to add. We're gonna go to empty preset. Now we're gonna select this one top left because that one is the dimensions that we need. Um, I'm gonna select one of the photos, hit delete, go to the third photo, then make this the photo three that's taken by pressing photo two and then pressing three. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to where it says image, choose file, and let me see if I can find a template to fit in here. I don't think I, I don't think I'm pressing it right. There we go. Okay, let me find one and again. Perfect, we'll just use this one. So we're gonna go send backward, send backwards and backward. Just move these around, pinch it really quick, just for the sake of the video. Okay, that's good. Hit X, but now do not forget, we need to make sure we have this one going, this template going to the secondary printer. So we're gonna select where it says setting now press where it says print to secondary printer, hit X. Now drop down menu. We're gonna go down to print setup. 
Okay, so now this is where we make sure, you gotta make sure you have all of this done correctly too, right? So we have the display print button that needs to be on there. You can do print automatic if you want automatic prints. And um, that looks good, that looks good, 10 copies. So now we're printing the Illuma Booth Assistant. So that's why we have it right here selected because that's how we're using it. We're using the laptop with Illuma Booth Assistant. Now click right next to main printer, secondary printer. And again, we're still printing Luma Booth Assistant, so we have that selected. So perfect, perfect. I am completely cool with this. Now we're gonna hit the drop down menu. We're gonna go launch event. And now let's take some test photos. So let's go. See, now you get to see, you get to choose. You have the two template designs. This one is gonna print on this printer, and we have this uh, little four by six printing right here. So let's start off with the strip. Yeah, I'll just put it down. Let's get some posing. Hopefully you guys can see. <laughs> it's like upside down, it's okay. We're not really focused on the actual photos itself. Let me turn this around. The goal is to just make sure that they print the correct way. So I have it upside down. Probably not good for the demo, but check it out. So we have the strip. I'm gonna hit print. Boom. And right away, this one is warming up and we're gonna be printing the strips from this printer right here. Just a few seconds. One, two. Perfect, we got the strips. So now, now we need to test to see if the secondary printer will print the other size. So we're gonna hit photo. Now we're gonna make sure we select this one here. We're gonna hit next. And it is gonna start the photos. By the way, look at this camera. This is the Pocket Osmo 3. I shoot almost everything on this camera. It's one of my favorite little pieces of technology that I use to make my videos. Even for the rental business, this is the thing I'm using. So, perfect. Last photo done. Now we're gonna hit print, one copy. How cool is that, you guys? So this can be an upcharge. This can be an upcharge where you have an extra printer going, so they have different formats. Not everyone likes the strips. Some people do like this classic. Not classic, this is the classic, but this is more of a new, you know, new type of style. You know, the, the bigger format, the postcard format. So that is the tutorial on how to do this new feature here with Luma Booth. Let me flip this around. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching and just remember, Photo Booth 101 is my company, we sell the best photo booth equipment, iPad photo booth, DSLR photo booth, these beautiful backdrops, we sell the props. Also, we have a Luma Booth support chat that we've created for people that sign up using our link. You guys already know the deal, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching, and if you find these tutorials useful, make sure you follow us wherever you're watching this video. So if this is YouTube, make sure to subscribe. TikTok, make sure to follow us. Instagram, make sure to follow us. But thank you for watching, God bless, and I'll see you soon.